Hello all and welcome to Rock Talk. This is night four of Stephen Bomb Free's Sardonyx. We are cover tonight we're covering historical friction and we have with us Chris Garcia. Hello. TG. Hello, that's me. Trebbard. My life story is revisionist history. And mm. Scott. Yay! Hooray! And uh, I'm Greg Dog, the host. And so, without further ado, let's begin. Yeah. So, TG, why don't you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm, kidding. So, I'm going okay. to. Hurt you. All right. So for once, we're not going to have TG start off. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with Chris. What the heck? Why me? I'm going to bitch now. What the fuck? What the fuck? Lovely. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> so I was. I was in the middle of a good hunt, and you ruined it. No. I'm just kidding. Uh-huh. I was fully focused, like always. Like, always. always. You're um, so focused, you haven't started yet. <laughs> I'm just stalling so I can kill this monster. Um, okay, so today's episode was just, uh, I'm going to say it's a filler, but it still kind of showed some remnants of a backlash of what happened in the first episode of the week of Steven Bomb, which is Shell Pearl still worrying about her mistake. And... Practically is just going through the history of Mayor Dewey's great grandfather or fa- grandfather or great 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 something. Yes. great 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 other, the only thing that I got from is uh, Pearl is a history buff when it comes to these things because she well, lived it. It's also really a history buff if you really experienced history. It, it, does it? I mean, well, depends on her memory. She has a steel trap for her memory if she's remembered that. But I, I would give this like a three out of five. In my honest opinion, I don't, I don't really have that much to say about this episode other than it's a filler and uh, it it goes back to the history of Beach City. Bitch City. Bitch City. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bitch City. All right. TG. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, this is this episode is like just a filler episode, but unlike a. Uh, Unlike last Stephen Bombs filler episode, which was a uh, fucking rising tides crashing, what well, fucking I never that one. I think you were right. Rising was tides, it rising crashing tides, skies. crashing skies. Yeah. Is that it? Okay, I think you're right. Uh, yeah, unlike that episode, this one, like it didn't feel like it was interrupting the flow of the stuff. Like, yeah, the it doesn't like move the meta plot along it but like the meta plot for this week isn't as like intense intense as mm-hmm. uh the meta plot for the last one so it yeah it doesn't feel like it's breaking the flow it it's just like the meta plot for this uh this week is just like pearl and garnet like not getting over their shit like so, getting over a spat. Yeah, so mm-hmm. like the fact that this is just more time passing while they do their thing is, yeah, it makes sense. Like, takes time for shit to get over, so it's just what people are doing in the meantime. And uh, yeah, I, I, I liked it. It was nothing super special or anything, but it was it was like better than Ow, other uh, episodes that we've had. So, yeah, uh, I'll give it like a three and a half. I don't know. Three and, and a half, half, you say? Mmm. Scott. Yes. You are up. I liked, I liked the Mayor Dewey fan fiction about his ancestor that was totally exaggerated and untrue. God. That's, it's like it's like it's the story like, of like, uh, the story of Gil- the epic of personal Gilgamesh. Personal family fan fiction. Yeah, personal oh, family man. fan fiction. It's Gilgamesh. like the slash fiction we kept. Uh, TG was m- mouthing off yesterday. Oh, uh, 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 Scott, can I? 
Can I butt in a bit? Go ahead. I forgot to mention how this actually teaches a lesson on how to build character in like a story. Like how how you make a character actually into like a human being. Instead of making them like, there's no flaws, they're perfect. They can't have any flaws whatsoever. Yeah, I noticed that was a commentary on how to do actual, you know, make a character good kind of thing. It really does. If if people who are out there, if you don't know how to build character, if you watch Steven Universe, watch this episode. This is a lesson on how to not make a Mary Sue. How to not make a Mary Sue. Yeah. It's a teensy bit complicated, more complicated than that, but I'll get into it. But it, get, yeah. but it gets, it gets, it's it pretty much the basics. It's like make them human, don't make them un, uh, I guess, or don't make them unhuman. <laughs> make them human, don't make them unhuman. Or give <laughs> them I human. Nobody. There you go. Or, yeah. I am unhuman. Anyway, uh, I'm. You I'm gonna. Other than that. I, it didn't really go. It was just filler, so I'll probably just give it a three. Because filler, mm-hmm. and I'll go next. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's a filler episode. Um, I do admit that I laughed a lot at the uh, jokes in this episode, though it was pretty funny. I like Jamie as a character, and he uh, he's pretty like, silly. Oh yeah, Jamie doing Garnet was hilarious. Yeah, doing oh, yeah Garnet and, 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 like, and he had a bop for Amethyst. Yeah, mop Amethyst. I, I was really getting a good chuckle out of that. So on that, I have to say yes, I did enjoy this episode. But I do wish this Steven Bomb had a little more action to it. Not that I don't mind these kind of just more character-based, relaxed episodes. But, you know, it it was okay. <laughs> I, Relax. I, yeah, chill out, man. But, uh, I mean, it, it again, it doesn't do what uh, Rising Tides Falling Skies did or whatever. Again, whatever that was called. It it does it doesn't interrupt the meta plot. It's just it's just kind of there. It doesn't like break it up. And uh, trying to think what else to add. Just don't think. Just do it. Don't do think. It. Do it. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really have much to say. Yeah, it's a filler episode. So three point five out of five. Tree beard, you finish up. Tree beard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. Uh... Obvious first part. I like the writing commentary because it's true. You need to make characters that have flaws are multidimensional. They need, of course, on top of having flaws, they also need to have. Uh, you also need to give them some appeal, some some reasons to root for them. But yeah, that's beside the point. Hmm. The commentary was interesting. I kind of like getting the. Sort of backstory. It was a teensy. It was a teensy bit lacking, but hey, it's what it is. You gotta take it what you, what it's for. Yeah, yeah. It's the backstory in play form. Yeah, very very short play form. Uh, f- but in regards to it being an episode in a Stephen bomb, I'm yeah. It's nowhere near as bad as that episode. That's the stupid fake documentary made by Ronaldo where they made the same point about him as they did the last time they had an episode about Ronaldo. But I don't know. I feel like I might have liked this episode a bit more if it weren't in a Stephen Bomb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, mm. like, my pro- thing is, the thing is that, like,. I think we were tr- like we were spoiled last Stephen Bomb with what we got the last. Well, in I don't, fact, the last two. I feel like we can't hold the fact that things are in Stephen Bombs like against them because it's not the writer's fault. Like that's more of the that's more of the network. Yeah, decide, cartoon. Yeah. It's Cartoon Network deciding to do the Stephen Bombs. Yeah. So, like, we can't say, like, man, writers, why did you put this here in the studio? I'm not box? saying, I'm not t- saying it as a knock against the writers. I'm just saying, I. It just, yeah. It just, in, it's just in the it circumstance. Feels, yeah. yeah. Given, the, cir- yeah. Yeah, given yeah. the circumstances, I feel like I would like this episode better if I knew it wasn't, like, one of the only five I was going to get for, like, a long time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It. It doesn't really accomplish a whole ton. And at this juncture where you kind of have to budget your 
choices for episodes. I don't know. I feel like this was in you expanding on that metaphor. This is poor spending. So, uh, I don't know. It didn't do a whole lot for me. So, 2.5 out of 10. Okay. So, better than stupid Ronaldo documentary, but yeah. It's just <laughs> meh. Stupid Ronaldo. Yeah. That comes out to a 3.1. So. Oh. Uh, What's that the is our, it's our lowest episode with Stephen Vaughn. It ain't a failure by any stretch. It's, it's just, just a kind meh. of it's a it's meh. Just, it's, it's a meh. It's our first meh of the week. So yeah, you know, we're not upset or anything, but uh, we're not mad. We're just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I don't even say oh, that. Man, we're going all dad on Stephen Unit. <laughs> <laughs> God, God. He's, God who hearted, you're not my real dad. Stop <laughs> telling me what to do with my episodes. Don't tell me what to do. I'll tell you what to do whenever I want. All Don't right. tell me oh, how yeah. to write my episodes. So, uh, not my you real guys want to? You guys want to talk about the Stephen Bomb format, like the strengths and the weaknesses of it? Sure. Uh, sure. Right. Why not? Yeah. Well, yeah. This is the fourth. Uh, we have one more episode left. Might as well. Yeah. Since we didn't talk about it last it, time. Because yeah, I, I kind of brought it up because. I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? I, Who called you? I agree. You that? It's uh, it's interesting. Like, I feel like it 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 works really well, and the episodes are all connected pretty closely, and it's like a big saga. Like, if it's an action-packed saga, it can, you know, it can be a really good thing, I guess. But well, like, because it can get you really hyped up really fast, and you. You're really excited just to see the next yeah, episode the, the next the day. The first but... Stephen Bomb did it really well. Right. Because the first Stephen Bomb was all the arc of uh, Lapis and uh, fucking... The, the space uh, hand. The other gems coming down and the capture and escape and everything. Like, those were all connected. So it worked really well. The second Stephen Bomb, they were almost all connected but then we had the dumb name. Other than that, though, it was pretty well connected. Yeah, it was well done. And this one, it's more they, loose. They are all connected, but in a way that they don't really all need to be together like this. It's like it's it's interesting. I feel like it's a very light meta plot. Yeah, I feel like the Stephen Bomb as a format would be really good if the writers were planning for it. They weren't. I, yeah, I think they, like, they that's weren't. the thing. They like, were pro- it lo- they're probably were planning on it just to be like a weekly episode kind of thing, not a, not five at once. I don't know, I, I guess we'll see if um, the whole thing wraps up tomorrow between... Amethyst. Or not I mean, Guardian if it was, Pearl, I mean, if it was like planned in a weekly thing, the Ronaldo thing actually makes sense as a recap. Then, I yeah, could, I kind of, I'm kind of left curious about just how long in advance that they've written and animated these, and if yeah. they knew at the time this would be, yeah, like because if, if it if yeah. it was just going to be like weekly format, yeah, this would be it would be infinitely more tolerable. Yeah, right. Well, oh, yeah, my, my <laughs> thoughts on it. Or actually, are we going in an order? No, I think no, we're just, we're just it's just free. It, it's it's like all open, hands on the table. Mic. <laughs> I mean, open, I I kind of agree that the Stephen Bomb works at its best when you have several episodes that are kind of in an arc. Mm-hmm. Like and in other things, well, yeah, yeah, when you're the thing that comes to mind immediately for me is uh the Green Ranger story arc and the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, mm-hmm. where they act, I think they did do that like on a daily schedule. Yeah, I think they did. But yeah, the where you have this like very closely connected story and you want to get it all out there at once, and you don't want to leave them hanging that long. That's where the Steven Bomb really shines. That's where it really does its best. With the more, like, character-driven slice-of-life type of episodes, I don't think it works all that well. L- like I said, it it feel it's sort of poorly spending what little time is afforded to it. 
and there isn't a whole lot of time. You've got five episodes, you got five, 10, 11 minute episodes to get something big across. And uh, in terms of a narrative, that's not a whole lot of time. So you gotta be, you gotta make bet you gotta make really good use of the time. And like like we mentioned, we're not really sure how long in advance they plan these. I mean, if we ever get to like interview show staff from Steven Universe, that'd be pretty great. Yep, I, I know that I really would want to ask Rebecca Sugar like just how much of her, st- how much of Steven Universe is inspired by Dragon Ball because I keep seeing more influences. <laughs> I, I, yeah, the, the, she's uh, obviously a Dragon Ball. Fan. Yeah, she. Oh, the, yeah. the show workers are obviously like old school anime fans because there's a lot of Dragon Ball inspiration. There's Sailor some Moon. Sailor Moon re- inspiration. It's like yeah. they they're clearly fans of this stuff. So like, I'm even seeing like really subtle connections. Like uh, earlier in the Skype chat, I was talking to Greg about it. I was watching the original Dragon Ball series and. In the intro, they show a profile of Goku, and he has this kind of, like, monkey-shaped, like, snout on the bottom of his face. It's basically the same face shape that Steven has in profile. So, yeah, you, the, the influences are coming in, not only in, like, obvious references, but in really subtle ways through the art style, through aspects of the storytelling, it's, it's really interesting. I'd love to learn more about how that's impacted what they do. But yeah, the Steven Bomb format works best when you have a big action-packed story arc. Not so much when you're dealing with like char- nuanced character stuff. Mm. But yeah, that's that's just my thoughts on it. I I think you summed it up pretty well. Pretty much. Yeah. This- well, I. I almost feel like this particular arc would have been weirder stretched out over like five weeks if they were doing it weekly because uh, because of just how it, it would have taken a long time. Yeah, it would have taken personal issues. a month and a half of Pearl and Garnet arguing or like not talking. So in that sense, it works. But yeah, like. It's, it's, uh, it's whatever. I don't know. I mean, the arguing thing even didn't come up that much in today's episode, though. It could have easily been written out. Yeah, you could see, you could see it in Pearl's face. Like it's obvious. But it was, there. but it was very brief. Like you could have had yeah. it just sitting there reading a book, and it wouldn't have changed anything in this episode, really. But all it really, w- all it really would have taken to get that out of the episode is like cut a few seconds out of it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Now it has nothing to do with the arc. Now there's yeah. nothing. Yeah, this episode is not super connected to the arc. At least yesterday's we had Amethyst venting on the couch, and that like <laughs> that was significant. That, that was like more of a closure. Like, oh, yep. yeah. She, she feels this way. Anyone that's have just... anything else to add? Shrimp. I'm grump. You're grump, and I'm, and I'm not so grump. And I'm John Cena! Okay. That means we've had enough. Okay, we have definitely gone on long enough for tonight. This has been Rock Talk. Uh, Tomorrow we'll wrap things up for uh, this week, and we'll see you then. Until then, rock rock on. Yeah!